Union Test Prep's Arithmetic Reasoning Practice Test for the ASVAB. Question 1. If you purchase a pair of tennis shoes online, you will receive a 15% discount if you order at least $100 of the discounted price of your purchase. The shoes sell for $115. There is an 8.25% sales tax on the purchase. What will you end up paying for the shoes? A. $106.08 B. $124.49 C, $108.25, or D, $121.75. Now would be a good time to pause the video to solve the problem. The correct answer is B. You will not receive the 15% discount since 0.15 times 115 equals 1725, so the discounted price is 115 minus 1725, which equals 9775, which is slightly less than $100. Thus, you will pay the full 115 plus the 8.25% sales tax, or 115 plus 0 0.0825 times 115, which equals $124.49. Question 2. There are 250 people in an auditorium. 12% of them are female. How many males are there? A. 50 B. 30 C. 220 or D. 223 Now would be a good time to pause the video to solve the problem. The correct answer is C. Since 12% of the people are females, then the number of females we will have is 0.12 times 250, which equals 30. Since the rest of the people are males, we have 250 minus 30, which equals 220. Question 3. You take five tests in your math class for the grading period. You score an 85, 92, 88, and 90 on your first four tests. What is the least score you will need to make on your fifth test in order to have at least a 90 average for the grading period? A, 100, B, 95, C, 90, or D, 93? Now would be a good time to pause the video to solve the problem. The correct answer is B. While you can make a 100 to maintain a 90 average for the grading period, you need to make at least a 95. If X is the fifth test, then the average is calculated as the following. In solving for X, we get 355 plus X over 5 equals 90. 355 plus X equals 450. X equals 450 minus 355. X equals 95. Question 4. Arrange these numbers in descending order. 7 over 3, 2.14, and 221%. A. 2.14, 7 over 3, 221%. B. 7 over 3, 2.14, 221%. C. 7 over 3, 221%, 2.14. Or D. 221%, 7 over 3, 2.14. Now would be a good time to pause the video to solve the problem. The correct answer is C. Converting each value into the same form will be easier to make a comparison, so we can order them in descending order. Changing 7 over 3 and 221 into decimal form, we have 7 over 3 equals 7 divided by 3, which equals 2.333. And 221% equals 221 over 100, which equals 221, divided by 100, which equals 2.21. Question 5. Allen's car averages 25 miles per gallon of gas. Gas costs $2.50 per gallon. Allen decides to take a road trip, and from an empty gas tank, he spends $45 to fill his tank. How far can Allen travel in miles before he runs out of gas? A. 450 miles. B. 250 miles. C, 400 miles, or D, 375 miles. Now would be a good time to pause the video to solve the problem. The correct answer is A. First, we need to determine the number of gallons of gas Alan has put in his car. Then we can determine the distance he can travel by the number of gallons of gas by the average number of miles per gallon. Now, 45 over 2.50 equals 18 gallons of gas. Next, 18 gallons times 25 miles over gallons equals 450 miles. Thus, Alan can drive 450 miles on a tank of gas. For free practice test study guides and flashcards for the ASFAB exam, please visit us at uniontestprep.com forward slash ASFAB.